The extreme heat can affect everyone in the DMV, but some people are at a higher risk because of chronic conditions like illnesses, like diabetes. Dr. Rinku Mera joins us now live this morning. She's a CEO and medical director of the Mera Clinic in Tysons, Virginia. So thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so first up, how we know how seriously everyone needs to take this heat because it's going to be potentially dangerous this weekend, but how does the extreme heat affect people with diabetes differently? So people with diabetes already are at risk for dehydration. Diabetes happens when your blood sugars are elevated. So a blood sugar over 200 uh, is diagnostic of diabetes or a blood sugar over 126. And so in someone with diabetes, their kidneys are already working twice as hard to filter out that sugar from their body and takes wa it takes water with them. So usually they are at increased risk of dehydration already. And the extreme heat can make it worse for them, especially if they're outside and they have a hard time cooling off. Some people with diabetes also have a hard time cooling their body temperature by sweating, so they are also at extreme risk of heat exhaustion or even heat stroke. Which are both very dangerous. So how can people with diabetes take precautions or what can they do to protect themselves? So we always recommend that they hydrate. So in general, making sure that you're drinking plenty of water and even electrolytes um, can be very helpful for patients with diabetes. In addition, staying inside, especially during the time that it's most hot outside, so between 12 and 4 is usually the time of extreme heat. So not doing yard work or doing heavy exercise during that time is really important. Wearing light color clothing, wearing hats, um, sunscreen, but really trying to stay as cool as possible. Um, the other piece about diabetes is that insulin itself, the medication that patients take for diabetes, can be affected by extreme heat, so insulin doesn't work well um, if it's out left outside in the heat, so making sure your medication is also in a cool place. Yes, definitely something to think of. So, other than diabetes, what other conditions or illnesses are really affected by the heat? So there are other conditions, for example, cardiovascular disease like high blood pressure um, can be affected. Um, respiratory illnesses also like asthma or COPD because the air quality can be poor. Mm -hmm. So that can also be exacerbated by the extreme heat. And elderly people, children, and pregnant women are also at, ex at higher risk of developing dehydration and some of the complications associated with the heat. So if you see somebody, if you're just out, you know, walking around or wherever, and you see someone you believe is experiencing some heat-related issues, what are some things that you could do to help them, would you say? So, I mean, I think the first thing is to recognize what those symptoms are. Um, if they report that they're dizzy or confused, it's important to take them inside as soon as possible. Um, make sure that they're hydrated or they get, you know, adequate uh, hydration. And then if you're really worried, you know, calling the hospital or calling 911, I think is important. But really making sure that these patients have uh, access to cooler places. So if they have access to air conditioning or fans, that's also very important. Um, and really checking on your elderly neighbors especially those who live alone because they're at mm -hmm. higher risk of complications associated with extreme heat. Definitely all wonderful information there and we have many more tips and information about the extreme heat on our website dcnewsnow.com so be sure to check that out.